everybody. Steve Harville with Creative Ventures. Did you know that an automobile made in 2020 is expected to last 200,000 miles or about 12 years? And that's no small accomplishment. Uh, it's a tech for a technology that's 144 years old, the internal combustion engine. 97% of all cars are still internal combustion engines that are rolling off the different manufacturing plants across the planet. Um, in 1977, NASA launched two space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They had a five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to... No, 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 that's a different five-year mission. Their five-year mission was to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that happens about once every 176 years. Um, and, and they were going to do the flybys of the giant planets of our solar systems, of Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune. And during these flybys, they sent back five trillion bits of information to us. They discovered new moons and new rings. Voyager 2 is now 11.6 billion miles away from its third planet home, Earth. It's headed past the farthest reaching and influences of our sun into interstellar space. We decided to give it a call. We hadn't talked in a while, basically because the Deep Space Network, uh, a series of connected radio telescopes around the planet, one of the largest ones in Australia, was busted. We fixed it, um, and we decided to dial up Voyager 2. It took 16.5 hours for the, the signal to go from Earth to 11.6 billion miles out there and 16.5 hours for anything that might come back to return. That's not that long a time frame if you think that it takes eight minutes for the light from the sun just to reach our planet. And I'll be darned, Voyager 2 picked up. It said, how you doing? Um, it sent us um, some new information on fields and particles and waves. Um, and it's really interesting because the amount of energy that occurs in a tiny radio wave from 11.6 billion miles is so small that a digital watch has about 20 billion times the amount of energy that is contained in one information wave coming back. Um, this is a wow moment for us. It's NASA's longest running mission. It's heading towards our nearest stellar neighbor, uh, Proxima Centauri. It'll take about 20,000 years to actually get there. The amazing part is this is the longest running journey of discovery and exploration in the history of mankind. You see, we're always driven to explore, to discover, to look over the next hill, to navigate an unknown sea, to discover. Exploring something new is native to our DNA. Um, we create scenarios, we innovate, we develop new ideas, we test, we adapt. That's the nature of who and what we are, and that's the nature of what companies do. Companies are constantly on uh, the, the verge of discovery, launching new ideas, thinking of a way to do something differently, accelerating something that happened before it. Now, NASA never dreamed our little explorers would become interstellar ambassadors, but they have. And we dream today of the new ideas that will launch a new business. We try our ideas. We explore them a little. You see, we're still those explorers. We're still those ambassadors of new ideas. Um, and we're encouraged by doing it constantly to learn from our failures, to leverage our successes. That's the nature of who and what we are. We're just like that voyager, sailing into the unknown with a constant stream of a new way of thinking. It makes us who we are. It creates new opportunities. So I encourage you, explore a little. Discover something. Take a risk on, a, on an idea. It's in your DNA. Thanks. Hope to see you again on the next issue of Did You Know?